Let's cook and taste Japan with Savvy Sensei right out of your own home. My name is Daisuke Kiyohara. I will teach you how to make dashi maki tamago, Japanese rolled dashi omelette. Let's get started. Now I will explain the tools and materials from the restaurant. First of all, this is a Japanese omelette pan. This is a copper pan. Copper is preferred because it is a good conductor of heat, and I use it as it can easily transfer heat to objects. I've been using this pan since beginning this business, so it's been in use for 13 years. So as you can see, it is quite sooty, but it is still working very well. Next is the bamboo mat. This is also used for sushi rolls, where you put nori on it and roll it up like this. In the same way, you take the dashi maki tamago and use the bamboo rolling mat to form it into a tight shape. Today, I will also use long chopsticks, a silicon brush, a ladle, and a bowl to roll it up. Next, I'll explain the ingredients. Today, we will use three eggs weighing 70 grams each, as well as salt and light brown cane sugar. Cane sugar is a refined sugar made from sugar cane. It is less sweet than white sugar, but has a richer taste. As well as that, I will also use light soy sauce, sake, dashi, and rapeseed oil. That's all. Okay, so let's roll up the dashi maki tamago for the restaurant. First, take three 70 gram eggs. Then, add one gram of salt. 5 grams of cane sugar, 5 milliliters of light soy sauce, 15 milliliters of sake, 1/3 and since one egg weighs 70 grams, add one third of the 70 cc's of dashi. and then mix. When mixing, do not mash the whites too much, because unlike steamed egg custard, dashi maki tamago should have a firm texture. This is about the time when the whites are still firm. Stop mixing when there is still some white left. Now, roll it up like this. Now let's roll up the dashi maki tamago like we do at the restaurant. First of all, Please turn on the heat to its highest. The reason for this is that we want to keep the moisture inside the rolls. So we use high heat to roll them quickly and easily. Make sure to heat up the omelette pan and remove the excess oil. Once it is warmed up, Quickly roll it all over. Crush any air bubbles. After the air bubbles have been squashed and the surrounding area has hardened, roll it up. Start with small rolls. It looks like you're using chopsticks to roll it up. But in fact, it's the angle of the rolling pan. The chopsticks are just to hold it. When the core is done, put oil on the pan again and put the next lot in. This time, I used three 70 gram eggs and enough dashi for one egg. But it's not as easy to roll as it looks. I've been doing this for more than 13 years, so I can roll it like this. 
but it's difficult at first, so please practice without dashi and start with just seasonings. From there, add more dashi little by little and practice to make soft and fluffy dashi maki tamago. You can make soft and fluffy dashi maki tamago by using this roll pan instead of a regular frying pan. Because it has a larger surface area, you can roll quickly like this. Take this roll and form it into a perfect square. If you are not used to rolling it like this, you can use the bamboo mat to correct the shape later. Let the dashi maki tamago sit for a couple of minutes to form a perfect square. Now it's been three minutes, so let's open it up. As you can see, it's formed into a perfect square. Place it on a plate. A perfect square dashi maki tamago. Here is the oniorosi, coarsely grated daikon radish, that I grated earlier. We use the oniorosi at our restaurant. Put as much as you want on it and cut the dashi maki tamago. Please cut it into bite sized pieces. Since it is soft and contains a good amount of dashi, you can cut it with a simple pull of a knife. The cross section ends up beautifully like this. The dashi maki tamago, like we make at the restaurant, 